everybody. You know, most public pools are closed this summer because of COVID, but here in Martinsville, their public pool in the park is being put to good use by some Olympians. Lap after lap, they push themselves against the clock. Six days a week, the Martinsville public pool becomes the Olympic training site for stars like two-time gold medalist Lily King. It's been weird. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't affect me too much <laughs> right now. It kind of gives me a little break before we get going, you know, for the Olympics next summer. Um, but, you know, I was never really in the position where, like, I was going to retire after 2020, so um, I was going to keep going anyway. So it's just, you know, just got to wait another year. <laughs> gold medalist Cody Miller also makes the daily drive from Bloomington. It's all about adapting to whatever it takes. It's really thrown our plans off. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I think right now we're just happy that right now the games are still scheduled to still happen. And um, even that's kind of up in the air. I think even the, the Tokyo administrators have said by October we'll know definitively. We're just lucky that we have a place to swim. Coach Ray Luce is trying to keep everyone on some sort of schedule. You see, there's no game plan for this sort of situation. Normally we have all these plans, weeks and years in place, and, and basically now you don't even bother to plan. You're just, okay, are we swimming? And then we, we so it's, it's a lot more off the cuff. This group of swimmers got so desperate for a place to swim, they actually used a pond in Bloomington for a couple of weeks. You know what was scary? Uh, a couple days after our last, the most recent pond swim, someone showed us a photo of a snapping turtle that they fa had found in the pond. And I kid you not, it, you got to find it. It was like this big. <laughs> it was like, it was a turtle, this, and its jaw was like this big. And I was like, I've been swimming in a pond with those. I never saw anything like that. But I mean, it's been okay. That, the pond is actually pretty well kept. Okay, I'm like, only animal I'm really terrified of is snapping turtles and probably the first two or three weeks we hadn't seen any and then it started to get warmer and they started to kind of come out. Olympic athletes are used to making sacrifices as they chase that gold medal but now they have an even greater appreciation for their sport. You know I really think this is you know made me realize how how easy we had it before you know I was I was upset that I was doing you know, 10 workouts a week, like, oh God, it's too much. And now I like just want to get back in the pool. And I just want to be swimming. So um, definitely, definitely very grateful for what I had and, and, and just to be, you know, in water in a normal pool swimming right now. Yeah, water with chlorine, you know, I'm sure that they're so grateful just to have a venue and a facility to go to.